All right, breaking news. An inmate at the Cuyahoga County Jail has died in custody. 19 Investigates Gabby Hart has been looking into this. She's joining us now live in the newsroom. So, Gabby, what have you learned? Uh, well, you know what I can tell you as of right now, we don't know or we know that that inmate had to be rushed to the hospital, but we don't know exactly why. What we do know is that he died less than 24 hours after he was booked in. At 3.52 p.m. on Thursday, November 16th, an inmate identified by the Cuyahoga County coroner as 25-year-old Rogelio Latorre had to be rushed to Metro Health Hospital. At 4.38 p.m., 46 minutes later, doctors pronounced him dead. Latorre was being held on charges of drug abuse. He was booked in on Wednesday, November 15th, just one day before his death. Latorre is at least the fourth Cuyahoga County jail inmate to die in 2023. In July, 26-year-old Nathan Myers died from a drug overdose. In September, 53-year-old Elving Lopez died in custody. 47-year-old Freddie Tackett died in October. We're still waiting to learn the cause of their deaths. The Cuyahoga County Jail has faced a number of issues. Aside from overpopulation and inmate deaths, the family of a corrections officer who died after working a 16-hour shift has filed a lawsuit against the county. This past October, a newly appointed warden, Jeremy Everett, claimed that he was forced to resign. And prior to his resignation, a former warden who only spent eight months on the job stepped down from that position. Now, I have requested surveillance and body cam footage from the jail to get a closer look and a better understanding of, of exactly what went on. In the meantime, the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office is investigating. And as we learn more, we'll keep you up to date right here and on Cleveland19.com. In the newsroom, I'm Gabby Hart. 19 News.